Welcome to LFN News, a production of LFN Media, bringing you the latest in celebrity news, with specific analysis to keep you in the know of what is going on around you. If you are new to this channel, please subscribe, and hit the bell icon, so you never miss any of our upcoming videos. Joycelyn Savage, one of R. Kelly's alleged victims according to Lifetime, that went on to confess otherwise in defense of R. Kelly and later alleged to be R. Kelly's fiancé, in a letter to the judge ahead of the New York trial sentencing seems to have gone rogue lately, and hatched a vendetta to tarnish Jennifer Bonjean's name, R. Kelly's lead attorney that has registered great achievements for the R&B King since joining his legal team. The pair seems not to have gotten along from the word go, but somehow, Bonjean has managed to keep the rather rowdy, self-exalting, apparent fiancé to Kelly in check, but she seems to be crossing a line every passing day. Savage first caused a media frenzy after her parents repeatedly and publicly blamed Kelly for brainwashing their daughter, and for withholding contact with them, although she has constantly proclaimed that she was in a relationship with the singer of her own volition. She went on to accuse her parents of plotting to extort R. Kelly using her. Just recently, Savage announced she had published a tell-all book, Love and Joy of Robert, about her relationship with the R&B King and launched it on Amazon. She went on to allege that Kelly and his team had read through, and approved the book ahead of the launch saying, he approved the book and his team has read it through and okayed it. I wanted pictures of us at concerts, at his house, and lying down together. I told them I wanted to portray exactly what happened. What shocked the public most though is she claimed in the book, that she was months pregnant for the I Believe I Can Fly star, even though Kelly has been behind bars for the past year or so, and that Kelly was supposedly excited about the news. Robert is extremely excited about the news that I am having a baby and feels sad that he is currently not able to be here with us, but he hopes he will be free and with us soon. She claimed. R. Kelly however, through his lawyer Jennifer Bonjean refuted the claims, and said, Savage is certainly not pregnant with R. Kelly's child. Bonjean totally disputed that Savage's short book is a tell-all memoir, and added, people are just insane. Now, in an interview with Entertainment Tonight, Savage has spoken out against Bonjean's comments in response to her pregnancy allegations. She said, Bonjean didn't know that prior to him going to jail, Robert and I were doing IVF because at the time I was told I couldn't have a baby. Her book, allegedly featured a sonogram that she said Kelly approved for publication. When he got sent to prison, we paused on it and I had them freeze my eggs until I was ready," Savage added. Once his lawyer Bonjean did find out, she wanted me to have an abortion because she didn't feel that now was the right time for me to have a child following the 30-year sentence. She went on to allege that she and Robert had wanted to have a child together for a long time. Really? Me and Robert wanted to have a child for a long time. He is very happy about it but his lawyer isn't. Once I told her I was keeping my baby, she didn't want me to announce but I wanted to share the good news with Kelly and the world. I've always been there for him, even before this new lawyer came into the picture. She alleged. Well, it should be noted that the same Jocelyn has made prior allegations that R. Kelly actually forced her to have two separate abortions during the span of their relationship. So what changed? You may ask. You can't help but wonder. How can a man have you take two abortions and the next minute, they are doing IVF with you and dying to see you pregnant? Sheer irony. None of this seems to make any sense but there could actually be a catch for Joycelyn in all this. Savage's response got us thinking. Could she actually be on a personal vendetta to discredit attorney Jennifer Bonjean? But why? Why on earth would she go around spreading such unfounded, selfish lies? What could be her real motive? Savage's reaction to Bonjean's comments, who was merely representing her client Kelly seemed to reveal a deep bias against the lawyer, the source of which we can't quite point at just as yet. By claiming that our Kelly was happy about the news but not Bonjean, Savage seems to imply that Bonjean must have something against her. Crazy. What interest could Bonjean have in Savage having an abortion? One can only wonder. Bon Jean is all about protecting her client's interests and that's just about it. Indeed, just like Bon Jean put it, it seems as though Joycelyn Savage is just insane. 
she is probably living this fantasy that she has made her own reality, and probably wants to believe that she is truly engaged to R. Kelly and is gonna have a baby with him and the pair shall live happily ever after, once he makes it out of prison. Any of R. Kelly's supporters could have been fully fine with her living her fantasy, if only she didn't go mumbling to whoever cares to listen about it and trying to discredit the only real hope for R. Kelly today, Jennifer Bonjean, who has taken up the ignition hit maker's case so selflessly, like it's her only case. In fact, with R. Kelly already realizing a number of wins in the Chicago trial, there is more optimism than ever that R. Kelly will be a free man sooner than anyone expected, thanks to the vast experience and expertise in Jennifer Bonjean. This however takes individuals like Savage getting their boundaries clear and living their fantasies in private. Here is what some of the R. Kelly fans had to say about Joycelyn's constant, unfounded allegations only intended to put her in the limelight. How selfish. Donisha says. How can we believe what Savage is saying yet she has been changing her statements over and over again. Better still, why doesn't she tell us how she got pregnant for Kelly? Has she been visiting him in prison and something goes on in there? Savage must be having some screws missing. These are not the kind of things you joke about, especially on a person who is currently fighting for his freedom. No one is in the mood for this drama. Savage, please leave R. Kelly alone and mind your business as he strives to earn his freedom back that the likes of you, selfish ladies stole from him. R. Kelly will be free in no time and nothing will derail him, nor Bonjean in this effort. Freeman says, It's really sad how everyone seems to want something for nothing. The devil sure comes in all kinds of mysterious ways and shapes. Joycelyn is merely having a nervous breakdown. It is interesting how this sabotage was planned and executed, just in time for the Chicago trial. Joycelyn is a mere attention seeker, and is now looking to ride on the heat of the moment at the expense of the R&B king. How selfish can people be? Joycelyn has truly stooped so low to start with such allegations at such a time. She will live to regret her selfish actions. Stay focused R. Kelly, we are almost home. Well, that's all we had for you today. Please let us know why you think Savage would have something against R. Kelly's current hope of freedom, Jennifer Bonjean and why she would start a vendetta against her at this point in time. Please share your opinion in the comment section below. Thank you for watching LFN News, a production of LFN Media, giving you another view of issues at hand. To get notified whenever we post a new video, subscribe to this channel now and hit the notification icon. And remember to give us your comment on the subject matter below.